and gents. Paul Place here, coming at you live and direct from Bunbury, Western Australia. How are we all doing today? Well, it's a lovely Sunday afternoon. Going out for a ride, and I've got a bit of a different one today. I did a bit of a tour of um, my high school. Uh, it was actually a little while ago now, but I just released the video. So, I've actually got another tour. And this one's going out to Bandit Nev, because he actually asked me for this one. I'm quite happy to oblige, so if anyone else has got something they want to see in Bunbury, don't hesitate to let me uh, know. And if it's a reasonable request, I'll try and get it done. And Nev's quite into harness racing, and harness racing, I will admit, is quite big in Bunbury. So we're going for a look today at Donaldson Park, which is the trotting... Ra <laughs> You're going to pull out on me then. I don't trust both of you. <laughs> We've got the circus here in town as well, apparently, so... It's been busy around here at the moment, but we'll still take a look. So yeah, Donaldson Park is the harness racing venue for Bunbury, and it's quite popular. Funnily enough, I actually... My next door neighbour when I was a kid, their... must have been daughter, um, it was quite old at the time, um, was actually in a relationship with one of the course masters for this place. Um, he had a horse, he'd go around and do the, I can't remember the name for it, but he would, Clark of Course maybe? Um, he would go around and basically usher up all the horses and get them ready and all that sort of stuff. So I'd actually been here a few times this is it coming up here. And just on the left at the moment is the practice track. Now, this is sort of, it's not in the middle of Bunbury. It's not in the CBD. It's just on the outskirts and it is quite a big suburb, but around the suburb live a lot of the people that either race here or train um, here and, and um, they use the facilities a lot. So a lot of the houses around the outskirts have stables and all that sort of stuff. So this is the practice um, circuit where I'll run the, the, the horses behind the cars and give them exercise and whatnot. And this is the main entrance just coming up over here. As you can see, it looks like something going on there. It might just be parking for the circuit circus. So this is the main entrance to the Bunbury trotting track. If you're a spectator, we'll go and have a look. No reason we can't have a look. So as you can see, it's quite close to the practice circuit. It's literally 100 metres away. That's it there. And this is the main, main track. And this is the spectator entrance and car park. The sun is right in my grill. So it looks like people are actually going in at the moment. Maybe there's a private function. They hire it out. Um, the room, the main club rooms in there for private functions, so it could be just a private function. I don't see any horses on the track. I can only go so far down here because of the circus, so. But yeah, um, oh, there is a horse there, there we go. Oh, look, there is, this, it's actually on, or practice, or something's going on right now. Oh, I'm probably gonna get yelled at. Let's see if we can go up here. Oh, GoPro loved it. So there it is. The spectator stands just back there in the club rooms, and that's the entrance from the stables for the horses. There's a little pre area, I don't know what they call it, um, where they get ready for the race, and then they will go out onto the track just down here. So as you can see, there's a couple of horses. I don't know if they're getting ready or packing up or what's going on today. I expected it to be empty. But yeah. Apparently this place, uh, six people got together early in, I think it was the 60s, or maybe the late 50s, going into the 60s, and, and um, made a 
bit of a community or a club for harness racing in Bunbury. And um, I think a year after that, the surface was constructed. And if I'm not mistaken, it is a crushed granite surface. And um, it's been here ever since. I'm sure it's been upgraded and whatnot since then, but there's actually a lot of things that's happened here. I was, I remember back in my research of motorcycle racing in Bunbury, there was actually a couple of races for sort of scrambler type bikes and whatnot early in the in the 60s and 70s, I think. I'll put a little a, a little newspaper clipping in there. I think we've got a photo. So yeah, it actually looks like they're preparing the track to have a run tonight. So we might back, even come back through and have a look at the place under lights. But that's this side of the facilities anyway. I want to get out of here because I don't think these people are going to be too happy about me. Oh, great. Here we go. Oh. Scaring their horses. So yeah, Joseph Action Circus is actually here at the same time, so that's why I thought all the cars were here, but maybe not. Maybe we've got some racing on as well. It's just got to go on a little bit, take it. So this is the uh, entrance for all your competitors, just around the back here. That's it there, Bunbury Trotting Club. And I think I think the circus must just be starting to kick off tonight, maybe six o'clock or something, because there's a lot of cars starting to pull up. So I'll go back around the front, you can't really see much from over here, but started here because you wouldn't have any context. So this is the back side of the, the circuit along Eccleston, Eccleston Street, sorry. Bike for sale there if anyone's interested. And um, this is where all the cameras, um, there's a tower just up here for the camera, I think an official. If you've seen any footage from here, which I'm sure you have, Nev, um, that's probably where it's from. And this is the back side of it. Um, so these houses here are the ones that also have a lot of stables and I'll take you through there real quick as well. Um, I mean I don't have a huge amount of information since going there maybe twice when I was maybe nine or ten or something like that. I've never been there again so I mean I can't rattle off heaps of stuff for you but I'm doing what I can. the GoPro. So these are all, a lot of the houses have stables out the back. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, and they are generally will walk the whole horses over the road and practice up in the area. Here we go, this is Bar Road. I actually had a, a mate in high school that lived down here for a little while and his dad was big on harness racing, so. That other track over there you can see as well is the actual normal, non-harness horse racing. I don't know what you call that either. So you can see the little pathways through from all the stables and here's the back of the uh it's a pretty cool little, little area really because back when the um site was first probably chosen it would have been a great rural area for to have all your horses and stuff out here but it's built up so many so much stuff over the years i mean it's probably 60 years now since it's been there it's now almost pretty central in town and it's, it's a bit strange to see all these stables and all that sort of stuff so close to town. It's quite cool, I like it. So that's it. Um, what I'm going to do, 
So I'm going to cut it off here. And I'm going to come back past later tonight. And if I come back past later tonight and it's on, I'm going to insert the footage here. So here we are for part two, Neville. The circus is still here. Believe it or not, this is a week after I did the last video. The circus is still here, still alive and well. But now you can see it on the lights. And you probably, well you might be watching on TV, I don't know how you listen, do you listen to it on the radio or something? I'm not sure. But this is it, it'd be going on right now and I'm riding past. So if you can hear a bike in the background, ready? That's me. There's probably not even a race on right now and I'll probably just do that for no reason, but... There it is, under lights. We're coming back round to the Britain Road side and I'll scoot back round to the main entrance. We'll see what's on. I don't know... I think they run every bloody half an hour or something like that, these horses. I'm not really... It's not like drags where there's something going every 10 seconds, so we might not be able to catch an actual race. But I'm going to do my best. Oh, I can see now nothing happening at all. Maybe it's too wet. I don't know. This is the practice track again. Use high beam, mate. What the hell is that for? And here we go. It looks good. I've got to say, it looks better with the circus there as well. There's more going on. It's been such bad weather today here that I really don't think they'd be running because it has been pouring down all day and the, the, the wind, it's just been absolutely horrible. I'll scoot back round in here. Oh shit. Oh no, there's a big pot. Oh, big pot. I ain't going through that. Oh wait a minute, what's that? Oh, I can make it through that. There we go. There's some, there's some horses. Maybe they are running. So that was the stable areas again, and this is through where the park the horse floats. Oh gosh, it is really cold tonight too. So here we are, back in that same spot as before. Looks like this dude's down there getting ready, so maybe I'll catch a race, but I'm not sure. Lady's looking at me, she's like, what is this dude doing? What is that red light on his head? Is he a snipe hole? G'day champ. You see him? He's like, what the fuck? Anyhow. I'm really not sure what's going on. It is, it's only, ooh. There's an ambulance over there, so they, they must still be running. It's only about 15 past six in the evening. Um, I think these things run till about nine, 10 o'clock. That would have been hell funny before. They would have been all sitting here, nothing going on whatsoever. I would have been riding past and then they just would have heard, ling da ring. <laughs> real, what the hell is that about? Yeah, sorry, mate. That's the stable entrance. Oh, there's people up there, they're just all in the rooms because it's so wet today. So yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. The circus looks like it's on. Not getting many people, are they? It's a bad day. So that's it. That's Donaldson Park. I hope you uh, enjoyed a vlogger's perspective. And uh, as I said before, this one goes out to Bandit Nev. He's the one who requested this one, and um, like I said before, I'm quite happy. Oh, I was 
just went through something really wet and it just wet all of my shoe. Oh. Um, yeah, he requested that one. And like I said, I'm happy to oblige. If there's something around Bunbury or close to me, you want to see, stick in a request. Go and check out Bandit Nev's channel. Put the link in the description. Uh, check him out, subscribe. What the hell? Get up. Oh man. Terrible place to park. I'll put yeah, I'll put a link in the description and um, check him out and subscribe. He's got some cool videos. And yeah. Full face out. Have a good one guys.